Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Siphon Filter. So today's episode, we are covering Romer's base, which is a four-part area. Uh, two of them are pretty short. I think the last two levels of this area are pretty short. The first two are the longer of the two. So I'm going to spend not a whole lot of time talking here, but just know that we're going to be going into one of the toughest levels. Uh, I'm going to try not to get caught in this level. I'm going to try and sneak my way through this level as much as possible. So I may crouch a few times and just do a stealthy approach instead of just the guns blazing because it will set off an alarm pretty easy and it gets a little annoying once the alarm goes off because then guys just keep showing up in waves after waves after waves and it's just it's pointless it's it's annoying so i don't want to do that and with that being said let's see what kind of trouble we can get into on this one All right, incoming from Markinson. I know that this type of military operation usually is usually carried out by our agents within the Army Rangers, but for obvious reasons, I am assigning it to you. Find and inventory the base's missile arsenal, which makes no sense to me how that sentence is worded. Plant C4 charges at key locations and eliminate Gabrick, the base CO commanding officer. You will also have to disable the base's anti-aircraft radar dish before Leon can initiate evac. Once your explosives are set, you will only have a limited amount of time before or until you can get out of there before the place goes kablooey. So basically, once they're set off, run for the hills, get out of there, don't die. I've discovered why every mission in this investigation has been compromised. The agency had a leak at the top. Benton, of course. You knew? You were valuable to me, Logan, but you are not briefed on all of the agency's activities. I've known for some time that Benton was playing both sides. How many missions did you send us on knowing that Benton could have gotten us killed? We do what it takes, Logan. All of us. Get her off the floor. What else did you find out? We downloaded several data files for Fagan's computers. It'll take a while before intelligence can crack Farcon's encryption codes, but Fagan must have a lab somewhere that's manufacturing this virus. Fagan has disappeared. Interpol hasn't been able to turn up a trace of him yet, and there's still no sign of Romer. Romer is operating out of an old Soviet base in northern Kazakhstan. Our spy satellites have pinpointed the exact location of his compound. The State Department must be able to tell the Kazakhstan government that the United States had nothing to do with the operation. Your chopper will put you down one mile outside the base, just beyond the range of their long-range radar. Hopefully the blizzard will mask your approach. You will have to infiltrate on foot and disable their short-range anti-aircraft guidance radar before evac. Those look like long-range SS-23s. Yes, they're the reason I'm sending you. Before you set the timer, you need to find their missile stockpiles and retrieve the launch codes. We want to find out where he is getting them. You will be carrying several C4 charges, which you will plant on these fuel tanks. That should be enough explosive to take out whatever arms he is stockpiling. This is Vladislav Gabrik, Romer's base commander. He is personally in charge of security. Contingency plan? If you fail, we'll have another chopper standing by to click south. If I find Romer... Eliminate him. I'm on my way in. Well, that seemed very easy. Radio traffic shows a yellow alert status. Be careful to avoid their patrol. If the base goes on alert, you won't have much time to complete your objectives. Check. All right, so uh, we're going to need some gas grenades in this level. So what I'm doing is I'm going to turn on the, oops, wrong one, the basically unlimited ammo code. And I'm going to tell you guys what it is again. You highlight the weapons and hold... Right, L2, R2, square X, circle. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. And uh, it'll show you all the, all the uh, weapons and everything. So, we have gas grenades now. First thing, first order of business. I'm going to take these two guys out here. Because... If you can get them both with... I don't like how it makes that little, like, upbeat, like, fast-paced music. It, ma it makes me think every time I hear that, that, oh, crap, I've set off the alarm. But I didn't. We're still good. We're still good. All right, now 
right, we got to get this guy over here. There you go. Always shoot the light after you shoot the goons. Simply because you don't want to get caught by them. If you shoot the light while they're standing there, they will hear it and they'll be like, hey, what was that noise, you know? Like in Metal Gear Solid. Huh? What was that noise, you know? I found a fuel tank. I planted the first explosive. Okay. We still have... Alright. Uh, there's a guy that's going to be coming around the corner here. Escape. Intelligence briefings show the bunkers are guarded by motion sensors. You have to cut their power to get in. Where's the yeah, substation? Yeah, I know that. A half click southeast from your present position. Check your sat map. There he is. Got him. All right. Now, we're not going to go that way yet because I can't. There's no reason for me to go that way. Uh, and there's a guy over here, too. Let's go ahead and just get him from afar. Get who we can. Shoot him. Knock him down. Take him out. And I believe... We got another one over there. I believe there is a... He didn't spot me. Oh, thank God. Here, let's turn. Got another one there. Okay, there is another place to put steep four explosives. Now, checkpoint, thank you. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh... Damn, I thought I could just shoot it with <laughs> standing right there. I guess I can't. It is what it is, you know? All right, let's power down the motion sensor so we can get to the other side. I found the power to the motion sensors. I'm heading over to the bunkers now. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, 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 I need my gas grenades. I'm going to need it at least on one of these guys coming up here. Because uh, there's going to be like three dudes standing there. And if I can't hit it in the right precise spot i don't end up knocking all three of them out i wish i could figure out how i did it the other day because i did play this the other day and i was able to knock out all three with one gas grenade but now that i think about it more i don't know if i actually did i think i just got the one guy in the corner and then got the two guys uh, from afar with another gas grenade don't want to do Gabe is throw it while you're shoot well damn I missed okay okay I don't want to jump down that way that'll probably injure me because for some reason he can't go you know too far down without you know losing health or something there we go. You thought you were going to try and get me again, huh? You thought you were going to be able to, you know, spot me and set off the alarm and all that fun business. Okay, that's not where the guy's... There's a guy behind one of these these um, doors, and I don't recall where he is. So I got to make sure that... Oh, shoot. Let's go ahead and get that light out of the way. Okay. Where is the other propane tank? That's basically what it is. It's propane and propane accessories. There's one. Mm. That's where he is. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Because I don't want to walk in front of that that doorway. There we go. Problem solved. All right, let's go set the C4 here so we can blow this thing to kingdom come when we get out of here. There's another guy there. 
he probably would have spotted me as soon as I snuck around the corner there. So that's not what we wanted to happen. All right, let's see. Hold on. We have two more tanks to eliminate or to tag. And I'm pretty certain they're in this vicinity somewhere. I think I just saw one right there that I can't get to from this side. So, yeah, there's one there. And then there's another one somewhere. I just have to remember. Shoot. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to, we're going to. I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to toss a gas grenade at that guy. Uh, both of them. Okay, so we've tagged it. Now, I forgot there's a guy over here. There we go. Gas grenade up. Because if I shoot the light, they might hear me. And I don't want them to hear me. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Two for one deal. All right. Now, for the light. Let's get rid of that searchlight there. There we go. We're C4. Okay, now, for the last one, because I still have to do... Where is it? That was easy. But. 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 Big. Big. Big hold on here. Alright. So we're going to. Three for one. Usually, if you go right here, they actually... Oh! I thought it was gone. <laughs> My fault. But, hey, hey, look. Checkpoint right there, so... That's the last explosive. All right, I'll trigger now. the timer once I'm on the roof and have disabled their radar. Copy. Okay, so what we need to do now is actually go back to that beginning area where that other... Switch was that I couldn't get to. Well, I didn't show you out here, but I, there's a switch I could not get to because I did not have the key card. Now I have the key card and we can get over there. Pretty sure of it. Let's check. Reach the missile bunker. Okay. It's got to be that direction because that's the only spot I couldn't get to without a key card. Um, this is one of the, like I said, very confusing level. Trying to figure out where you're supposed to go. The levels after this, the Romer Stronghold, I cannot stand those levels. They're so confusing. Like, those levels and then the warehouse, the Farcom warehouse levels are so freaking confusing as to where you're supposed to go. And you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know where I'm going. And I'm lost. Damn it. What? Whatever. Missile bunkers right here, so I don't even care. Nope. I believe it's on this side. I don't care. I'm just... It's right here, so... You know, it doesn't matter. Is that it? Nope, 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 nope. It's in here. Somebody has to have a flag jacket. No flag jacket? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The end of the level's right here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save. Leon, I'm in the bunker. I'll catalog the missiles and then head for the elevator to the roof. Get ready for data transmission. 
So they went ahead and, you know, found me anyways. And 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 everything is is all, you know. Did that idiot just walk through the Oh, hey, you shot it for me. Thanks, guys. All right, what's the objectives here? Catalog 10 enemy missiles reached the comm building roof. Okay, so this really is not that challenging of a level. It's pretty easy to find the missiles. Um, you just got to go through a bunch of different rooms to find them. And each one of them has about two. Uh, one of them has four. Go. Contact Leon. I've got the first firing code. As soon as I get the rest, I'll be heading up to the radar tower on the roof. Stand by. I'm intercepting more radio traffic. They're starting to patrol the perimeter. If they spot me, I'll have to dust off. Copy. Okay. All right, let's see if I can figure out. Okay, we got... Um... Okay, let's try and see what's over here. There you go. Uh, oh, hey, look at that. Stuck on a switch, huh? I see. I see. Well, shoot. See, that's what I don't like, is these always open up, like, other switches. So you're constantly going in circles trying to find where you're supposed to go. I guess I could have shot a grenade in there, but that would have been probably a bad idea. Oh, hey, yo! They just snuck up out of nowhere, huh? Where's it? Where, he's probably around the corner here, and I'm probably not going to be able to get over there because... More. Oh! Where are you taking me? I'm not sure what's over there. I hope it's a flag jacket. All right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. All right. So we got another one here. One of these is, is kind of... This is the one. This is the one I got confused on. I went over there and tried to push the button and it wouldn't let me. And I'm like, huh? Seven remaining. It's like Goldeneye. Five remaining, four remaining. And I know where they are. They're laying down somewhere in another room. Nope. Oh, hey, look at that. Another switch to shoot and turn off so I can get the heck out of here. But uh, now I'm kind of lost. I don't remember which way to go. Oh, right in the head. Well, damn. Okay. Is these the last four? Uh, sir, do you really think you should be shooting at me while I'm in a missile room? That's not a good idea. It's a pretty bad idea. I've got the last code. I'm gonna try to find a way up to the radar tower on the roof. Get ready to lift off. I'm ready. All right, where? Oh, where? Is it in this area? Well, shoot. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, well, that's all it was. Big deal. Now, for those of you who are watching the playthrough, 
There is a hidden weapons cache right there. Oh. Right there, and you get a trophy for finding it. It's really not that hard to find. It's, I mean, there's like, what, four rooms in this area? It's really not that hard to find that one. But just in case you don't know that, go ahead and hit that computer that's now destroyed, and you'll find the weapons cache. Leon, I found the elevator to the roof. Get the roof. Off. The roof. The roof is not on fire yet. It will be. It will be. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, save. Yes. Now, yes, because I have the easy enemy kill, the helicopter is going to go down pretty fast. I did not read the... I didn't read the last thing. I'm sorry. Romer's patrols have discovered my location, and I'm coming under heavy fire. You better disable that radar soon or I won't be able to dust off. That means take off. Its control panel should be somewhere at the ba at its base. I'm having Markinson's team stand by in case something happens. Hurry, Gabe. Yeah, Gabe, hurry. It's very Metal Gear Solid. I will give him that. Very Metal Gear Solid with this level. Leon, I'm on the roof. Get ready for evac. Where, oh, where is the control panel? It's up here somewhere. There you are. Uh, excuse me, Gabe. You walked right past it. We on. I've triggered the timer and disabled the radar. I'm ready for pickup. I read you. ETA 4. Leon? About all of these controls. Leon! Logan, I'm afraid she won't be giving you a ride. Rumor. But don't worry. I was kind enough to send one of my choppers. Oh, that's so nice of you. That is so nice of you, Romer. Well, that... There we go. That was like, I gotta take out this thing somehow. Grenade launcher did not do what I wanted it to do. Apparently, thanks. Markinson, Leon's been killed. I need that chopper evac now. In ten minutes, this place is gonna be a crater. Fight your way to the main gate. We'll pick you up there. How's you just assuming Leon's been killed? You know. Uh, sure. We'll go ahead and save just so that when I finish this level, the base escape, it'll be ready to go for the next episode. All right, here we go. Incoming from Markinson. The timers on the explosives you planted have been triggered. When they go off, it will leave a crater. A, a crater a mile wide. Our chopper will pick you up at the main gate if you get there. Get here in time. Get there in time, I guess. Our window for escaping ground zero is short, so you had better hurry. You better hurry. I have sent a team of Leon's rendezvous, or a team to Leon, Leon's rendezvous point. They found nothing but a burning pile of debris. Romer will pay dearly soon enough. I'm just gonna... There's a trophy also for getting through this area without killing anybody, but... Where's the fun in that? Besides getting a trophy. Wow, they're only giving me like two... Two minutes here. All right. Two minutes to get out of this area. That's what they sound like. I know I said that before, but that's what they sound like. You know, once you figure out where the you know area is where you're supposed to go and everything, it's really not as confusing. Who is? Uh, dude, I've got, like, no armor here, and you're firing machine guns at me. Can you, like, chill? Thanks. That'd be great. Oh, crap. Hey, flight jacket. Nice. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And Mr. Shotgun Guy, you're going to go bye-bye, too. You just feel the need to fire at me for some reason. You know what? You know what? You know what? Two can play that game. Two can play that game. You want to fire shotguns at me? Oh, okay. Hold on. I'll see, I'll see you in a minute. When I get down, just wait there. Wait there. Wait there. 
We'll be there in just a moment. There you go. Thank you. Right through the glass. And we are out of here. Let's just roll out. Wee! Touchdown. I don't know. Man, thing blew up like... Just like Goldeneye. When the Goldeneye satellite just launches and shoots at the facility. Right, will you save your game? I sure as heck will. All right, so that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I thought it would be longer to, to complete and everything. But that is the end of Roamer's base slash base escape slash base bunker slash base tower. All the fun stuff. We filled it inside of one episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, yeah, I know I died at one point and, and had to continue. But, you know, I'm really trying to minimize the amount of times I die in these episodes because I know it's going to happen. You know, these things happen in these games, but if it happens too much, I will just cut those parts out just so you know. So if you ever see any jump cuts, just realize that it's because I died a bunch and I had to edit that part out. So I will be keeping that one in because it was just one. But uh, thank you guys again. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up, ring the bell to be notified when videos go live. I will be getting more of these out there. Uh, I'm trying to finish Siphon Filter first before I jump into like another game. I'm thinking maybe Toy Story. I'll, you know, do some recordings for next. But uh, I haven't decided yet. And uh, yeah, definitely hit the subscribe button if you have not already. It does help out the channel. And if you enjoy gameplay and playthroughs and long plays and everything, this is the place for you. You will enjoy this channel so much. I also do reviews every Wednesdays. I do podcasts every Mondays and then streams every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, in the evening, obviously, because I work during the day. But, you know, definitely come back if you enjoy the channel. And uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. Y'all have a good one.